Great. Okay. Well, thank, thank you, you so much for this, for doing this, Val. It's a sheer pleasure. Yeah. Cool. Would you um, maybe just start by telling us sort of how what your connection is to Olive Road? Oh, yes. <laughs> well, I was born in Honeypot Lane, which is the hospital that uh, serviced around here, mm -hmm. and that's in Kingsbury. I was born there. We came back here where my parents lived to 103, mm. and that was in 1939. Yeah. My father had already enrolled in the uh, police force um, as a war reserve, mm -hmm. because although it was not declared when I was born, which was June, uh, sadly everyone expected war, so mm. he became a policeman. Right. And the war broke out when I was three months mm, old. Mm. And my sister, who went to Moora Road School, mm -hmm. uh, was eight. I'm just going to pull my chair over. <laughs> she, she was evacuated. But what, my, is that like to the country evacuated? Yes, yeah. yes to Northampton. Right. And we, my mother and myself, stayed here. Mm. And my father. My mother didn't want to leave my father. We mm. stayed here throughout the war. We were bombed out when I was too young to remember, mm. and we moved to 114, where we okay. stayed until I was 15 years old. Wow. And so, now, it was, it was it the whole house you had? or it No, was separated? Okay. we had the lower half. Okay. And we had three separate sets of neighbour during the 15 years mm -hmm. that we ourselves lived there. The big front room, where mm -hmm. I'm talking mm -hmm. to you now, was my parents' room, and I have to say that later, when my brother was born, mm -hmm. he being three and a half years younger than I, mm -hmm. also slept in that okay. room. But that was quite the norm. Yeah. And in the centre of the room, where I'm actually sitting <laughs> at this moment, was the enormous Morrison shelter, in which we all slept at yeah. night. Yeah. We crawled in and slept so now, in. Tell me about these, because I've, I think I've seen them in museums. They're like... Yeah. Tables, basically they are big tables. A large flat bolted together iron right. thing. Does it um, have sides? Yes, and the sides were mesh. Okay. So you weren't enclosed, you could see through okay. them. It wasn't very tall, mm -hmm. so even as children you, you had to do this in right. order to crawl in. And when you like slept in like you put like a mattress on yes, the floor inside? We okay. did. Right. We did. Right. And that was left there permanently. Okay. Um, and of course as the war um, drew on and I became sort of four and five, mm. it was a play area okay. as well yeah. as everything else. <laughs> yeah. um, but we also used the cupboard under the stairs, okay. which I've seen so, yeah. here today, <laughs> as a shelter factor. Many yeah. a times we were okay. crowded in there. It was very much mm. like this. Many of our neighbours had um, uh, an Anderson shelter okay. built into the garden. We They're didn't like have big such. dome, half dome things. They are, yeah. and they, they were placed under soil. Yeah. And my very good friend who lived just mm. on the corner mm. there, and I can see yeah. the house from here, <laughs> they had one. And okay. they had it in the garden for many years yeah. afterwards. Yeah. And again, it was a good play area. Yeah. So that, that's like the corner of Mora Road and Olive Road? Um, uh, St Michael's Road. Oh, St Michael's Road. Yeah. St Michael's yeah. Road, yeah. yes. Okay. yes. Yeah. And I am still in touch with her. <laughs> wow. Okay. She is in Liverpool <laughs> and she's a fraction younger than I. Yeah. But we have met up two or three times in St Albans in recent oh, years. Wow. And uh, we, mm. we converse and yeah. uh, write to each other, which is oh, wonderful. Gosh, that's exactly. amazing. Yeah. So I share all those <laughs> memories with her. Yeah. Um, now you mentioned there were there were street shelters or something. Oh yes, like there were two. Right. One at the top, right, and one quite close here. Yeah. They weren't there at the beginning of the war. Okay. We had nothing then. Okay. And because my father was a war reserve, a policeman, mm -hmm. we had permission to shelter in the early days mm -hmm. in Smiths. Okay. Which was along the Broadway. Okay. But sometimes the sirens would go. Mm. And, you know, you, you wanted to get up there. Well, okay. it was a time factor. Right. Okay. And if we were all rushing up yeah. <laughs> some miles away, yeah. it would be quite horrifying yeah. that you yeah. might get caught. Yeah. And I have actually seen what they used to call dog fights in mm. the sky mm. with um, the Luftwaffe and right. the RAF fighting. It looked Even fun. Here. 
like oh, yeah. this. You could oh, see okay. it in the sky. Wow, well, okay. And it looked like they were going very slowly, mm. but of course they were doing yeah. nothing of the sort. But that yeah. was the impression yeah. you got, mm. leaving these lazy mm. trails of white. I must have been perhaps four or five. Mm. Um, but yes, street shelters were built. And now what, I can't even imagine what they looked like. Were they like underground? Or? No, no, they weren't. No, no. They were completely straight brick built. Okay. But they had... Um, cement, concrete, okay. all around them. Right. They were okay to, um, when you said underground, mm. I mm. should have said the, the bit that you went into mm. was underground, okay. sorry. But yep. the actual structure yep. was um, okay. a sort of square box, I mm. suppose, made of concrete. Mm. They were usually very, very wet. They smelt mm. abominable <laughs> um, and extremely uncomfortable. Right. And we hardly ever as a yeah. family, use yeah. them if we could possibly right. avoid them. Hence that my memories are much stronger of, of the Morrison, Morrison and so you the Tullagand So you'd only go stairs. to the street shelter if you were warned that it was a particularly big raid? Or... Yes, okay. yes, right. yeah. yes. My, yeah. my, my mother didn't care for it. And of course okay. I was yeah. a baby for right. the very early years mm. and the neighbours didn't like the fact that if they were trying to get to sleep I would perhaps Crips be and crying and grizzling okay. and yeah. couldn't, you know, yeah. so she used to feel uncomfortable about <laughs> okay. that. Okay. Um, wow. But on the time when 103 was bombed, right. uh, my father, of course, was told mm. the bomb dropped in Olive Road and he mm. didn't know whether we'd gone to the shelter or not. Gosh. Okay. So that must have been terrifying yeah. for him. Yeah. Must have been, yeah. <laughs> you know, not knowing. Yeah. Because he still had to do mm. his duty. Mm -mm -mm. Um, but when the big bomb dropped, I was much older and mm. that dropped directly opposite us mm. and there were fatalities in that. So that was the one on 113 that dropped? I, I can't be certain of okay. that number but it okay. was a whole block perhaps okay. of three. When I've had a look around we'll see. Yeah. I will be able to say okay. that's the yeah. one. Okay. Um, but the house was home to the Mensley family. Right. And Keith Mensley was in the RAF and he was one of four brothers. Mm. And he, in fact, um, was my godfather. Mm. He was only a young man, but then mm. all the RAF were young. Mm. I think he was probably no more than 19. Mm. Um, and I called my son much, mm. much later after mm. him, mm. Keith. Um, but the daughter, whose name was Daphne, slept in one room mm. and the boys slept in another room mm. and when the bomb dropped it sliced down and Oof. the boys were fine but and Daphne was killed oh, and she no. was 17 years old and it's there awful. were services held yeah. and the as far as I'm aware the um, role of honour in St mm. Michael's is still there it certainly it was, was there okay. where her name was recorded yeah. as having died right. and prayers were said and yeah. candles were burnt for yeah. for her wow. um, and she was the Sunday school teacher so it was yeah. very personal oh, to yeah. them um, gosh, that's, that's shocking because you know yes, you, you see, it was you, shocking you see pictures of the London Blitz and you, you kind of think of the East End of London I, I never not kind of thought all. it was not at all no. out here too and that stayed as a bomb site and was just a sheer playground to us children mm. and um, perhaps I suppose several months following mm. the bomb dropping an enormous great water tank was built there mm. with a, um, a structure that went up the side mm. that you stepped up okay. and of course us kids did Which, exactly yeah. <laughs> that um, as I've said to you Lynette yeah. that health and safety didn't <laughs> exist so but you know we were sensible yeah and it yeah. was a tremendous community feeling mm. and every parent if we knew them they knew mm. us mm. and if we looked as if we were getting into trouble mm. you would have a dozen mothers calling, calling out, out the window yeah. be yeah. careful yeah. that's how yeah, it was yeah, then yeah. that's how wow. it was you know um, so, as I said, we used we used um, the shelters occasionally mm. up at uh, I've forgotten its name now. I've just told you its name. Uh, uh, I go Snaid. No, no, oh, the, the big one. No, the big shelter. Oh, Smiths. Smiths. That's Smiths, right. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the fun factor there was you had entertainment. So now, to tell me what is Smith? I've heard of Smiths, but what Smiths was 
and pack. I don't think it's still near there, yeah. but it was a very famous watch and clock maker. Okay, but it went over, as all factories did, mm. to making um, parts for the war. And as I understand it, they made um, parts for the planes, the clocks. Okay. You know? Oh, that went inside the planes. Absolutely. Okay. Anything that required um, mm. mechanism okay. that was quite specialised. So okay. it was a very big yeah. employer. Yeah. Um, and indeed did a lot for the war effort mm. um, during those years. Mm. Um, but they used to yeah. have such a wide number of people up there mm. that they constantly had entertainment for right. us all. Right. So us kids thought that was wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they go to holiday camp <laughs> almost in a weird way. But many, many times um, mm. we would run out to the road here in mm. Olive Road and pick up what was called shrapnel mm. and it would be hot. Mm. And we collected shrapnel, and that was um, the um, parts of the guns mm. when they were fired. Oh, the so ammunition like the bullet casings yes, or whatever. Yes, would fall to the ground. They, they oh, weren't wow. bullet cases. They were sort of about that wide, if you can see that, yeah, about yeah. that wide. And they were long, okay. uh, and they looked like the shape of an enormous great mm. rubber. But right. they were solid, hard, right. um, and they were hot. And wow. it was a... a great thing to have wow. found, found a piece. Yeah. And wow. when there'd been a raid, we would all rush run out. out and, yeah. We did indeed. So wow. that, to us, you see, it was all fun. Yeah. It was exciting, very exciting. Yeah, well, and I suppose you were so young, you didn't know anything That's different right. either. That we was sort of normal life. <laughs> it was normal life, as you say. Yeah. When I look back as a parent and a grandparent, mm. um, it must have been terrifying mm. for all our parents. Mm. Um, and even when I went to school, which I did on my fifth birthday, and of course it was at Mora Road, mm. uh, we had um, shelters in, in the playground. Mm. There were shelters there for many years, because mm. in latter years I went back mm. and they were still yeah. there. But then when I returned again, they had in fact been dismantled. Right. Um, but we spent hours in those mm. shelters Gosh. because this was at the time, the end of the war, mm. you know, between my fifth and my sixth mm. birthday was 44 stroke 45. Right. And that's when the rockets were falling. Oh, OK. So having got through the blitz, yeah. we thought, you know, yeah. things are going well. Then the mm. V2s and the V1s came. Mm. And I have a vivid, vivid memory of being in the garden at 114 mm. with my father. Mm. And we had a small coal bunker mm. and next to it was the dustbin mm. and we saw this we called it a doodle bug okay but it was in fact the v1 yeah. rocket which had um, mm. no pilots it was mm. a pilot and it used to come across and then the engine would stop mm. and then it would start to dive so uh. i was out the garden looking at this yeah. thing and you, can you hear the engine? Oh, yes. The, okay, right. Oh, yes. Right. Oh, yes. Mm. You could see it, hear it, everything. Mm. And I was looking at it, and the engine stopped, and my father flung himself mm. over me wow. against the dustbin. And yeah. we were like this, crouching yeah. down with yeah. him on top of me over the dustbin. And it came down quite near here. I don't recall. I think it might have been in Chicherley Road right. okay. or Oaklands Road at yeah. the top. That's how oh, close it wow. was. Wow, okay. And when the bomb fell in Ivy Road, mm. it blew every one of our windows out mm. and all the cupboards, mm. all the china yeah, fell, fell. Okay. from the shelves. That's how wow. bad. And yeah. we were sheltering under the stairs yeah. on that particular night. Mm. Um, and I went round the next day mm. and, and saw what it was yeah. like. And it was horrific. Yeah. But again, I can only tell you we'd seen so much mm. of it. Mm where the, the, the houses were sliced down the mm. middle. So it would be like a doll's house. You know, mm. parts of the bed would still be standing. There'd be a picture on the wall. Mm. Mm. And the rest is like the rubble that you see That's in right. movies. That's stuff. exactly wow. right. But, huh. and, and it, you couldn't quite grasp yeah. that people had died in that. Yeah. But of course that, that was the case. Yeah. Um, it's and it was a terrifying time. Mm. We had the guns here, you see, in Gladstone Park. So the, were they like anti-aircraft Yes, guns? they were. Okay. Yes, they were. Um, it was called The Hub. Okay. And it was a central area that mm. organised the ACAC. 
mm -hmm. in this area. Akak. Oh, that's okay. Because you in an email, I think you referred Did I mention to it? Akak gun, and I didn't yeah. know what they were. <laughs> yeah, and okay. of course, all the time that the raid was on, you'd hear the sound of the guns. Okay. I think perhaps they weren't too effectual, yeah. <laughs> but they made a hell of a din. Yeah. Um, and there were huts there, you see, mm. where the soldiers were billeted. So, so whereabouts was this? This was in Gladstone Park. Yes. Well, which bit of the park? This bit here, the nearest bit to us. Oh, really? Like the bit near the, near the, the library, bit, basically? Um, not far from the library, yes. As you go through the gates, it was just over the back there, in the area between um, uh, where Chichely Road runs. So okay. from Gladstone Park, Chichely Road... Yeah. is right down the other end, on the lower yeah. bit, not up yeah, the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And there was a, a police box at that entrance, okay. and that and Melrose Avenue is the yes. road opposite that. Oh, okay. So all of it was there, yes. and the, the buildings related to the hub where all the uh, yeah. soldiers, the ARP, mm. uh, which was the air mm. raid precautions people, mm. they lived in there, mm. and that's next to the cinder track that I was telling you mm. about that leads down to St Michael's Vicarage. I don't know if it's mm. still there, but it certainly was. I wonder, maybe afterwards we can go for a quick wander. Because, oh, I'd love because, to show you. Because there's a, um, alongside the park, there's like a walkway. There's flats on one side, but it's like a straight little walkway. That's the one, Lynette. Yeah. That would have been the, the cinder, cinder track, that's okay. what we called it. And to the left of that, at the latter, yeah. part of the wall when it was just over uh, they built these prefabs and they were there for many years okay probably as long as 12 15 years because there's there's like a sort of community center thing there now that well the community wondering... center i think was probably one of the those. vicarage oh, no okay, i think okay. i think that because it was a very big house okay. and it was at the back of that cinder track at the back of the prefabs there was an I mean, entrance I, there. It might still be there. It might yeah, still be we'll, there. we'll have a look. We'll have, we'll have a but that yeah. is where it was. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the soldiers were in there. Yeah. So, you see, this is why we did get quite mm. a lot of bombing, quite mm. a lot of went on here, because mm. they were they after... The, the... That's right. Yeah. Okay. That's right. And there was a bomb dropped in the park. And for years, there mm. was a crater. A mm. crater was always full of water. And mm. again, the kids, you know, we'd sail wow. boats and things in so it. But where was that? Was that this side yes, of the line yes, as well? Yes, yes, okay. yes, it was. Interesting. Very close. Yeah. And at the school, we used to hold all our sports there. Right. They um, still do, by the way. It's still that's <laughs> summer, really. you see it all the little kids out. <laughs> and when the war finished, um, those... Um, Nissen huts, they were mm -hmm. called, were used to house people. They had to live okay. in those huts. They were wooden, yeah. and they just had corrugated iron over mm. the top. Wow. See, I haven't even drunk my coffee. Yeah. I can't stop talking. <laughs> you know, I'm going to pause us there for Please a minute do. because also. Please um, do.